Hi, South Point friends and family, Matt here. We want to continue to give you regular updates about our response to the current situation. Just so you know, we have an amazing team of both volunteers and staff working diligently behind the scenes to create a plan to support you and your family both digitally and practically. We want you to know that during this season, you are not alone and that South Point is for you. Now, during this difficult time, you, me, and we have an unmatched opportunity as a church for our generosity to honor the name of Jesus like never, ever before. This is a chance for us, the church, to show our true colors and to not huddle inwards, but to be open-handedly to help our communities on behalf of Jesus. At South Point, we have a plan, and our plan has three primary ways to support our local communities in this time of need. The number one way is that we'll work through our current ministries that support the under-resourced and the vulnerable. We will designate funding to our after-school program community in Colony Square. This will help support both the parents and the children who are directly affected by this current situation. On top of that, we will also continue to assign resources to Three Oaks, which provides transitional housing to those in need and resources to the homeless. Now in this season where the service industry has been essentially shut down, the already vulnerable are now made even more vulnerable. So we will continue and allocate new resources there. Way number two is we will work with our current local ministry partners. Two of our best partners have been the soup kitchen and the food pantry associated with that. And what they do is they provide meals and food to those who are in need. And at this season, that is a real way for us to show practical help. And way number three, for direct benevolent requests, we will engage our current systems. Listen, we have a long-standing partnership with Hope of Southern Maryland. And what they do is they provide financial support to people outside South Point's immediate community. Now, the South Point's immediate community can access our benevolence through our digital process found on the website. Again, it's a privilege to be a part of such a generous and giving community. We understand in this season that there may be lots of good ideas. However, we want to be wise and good managers with the sacrificial giving of those who donate. South Point has a full-time calls and care pastor. Her name is Paula Cox and she rocks. She's been actively engaged in our local communities for almost a decade. And with her input, it has helped us direct the dollars where they'll have maximum impact. Thanks for the intro, Matt. Hi, friends. I love our church, and I love how we come together in times of need. 1 John 3, 17 through 18 says, If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need, but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. I'm so thankful to be part of such a generous church family that always goes above and beyond when asked. I'm also thankful for the partnerships that we have in our community that allow us to be the church Monday through Saturday. It is our initial goal to resource our existing outreach partners first as they seek to serve those in need. So please help us make sure that our Colony Square After School Program and Three Oaks Center families receive weekly food bags with staple groceries needed. We are so appreciative that the Summer Food Program will be providing meals to those 18 and under who can get to the designated locations. But we want to ensure that those who are unable to make it to those locations or those who do not have school-aged children are still being cared for. We would also like to make food donations to our partners at St. Mary's Caring Soup Kitchen as they continue to serve bagged lunches Monday through Saturday. And we want to help restock the food pantry at Good Samaritan Church in Lexington Park. If you want to help in this way, please drop off your donations at the South Point offices in Leonardtown, Tuesday through Friday between noon and 5 p.m. You can find a list of requested items in the link below. If you're not comfortable shopping and would rather give monetarily to supplement these endeavors, you can give online at the link below. Just choose the COVID Relief Fund option from the drop-down menu. Right now, Governor Hogan has issued an executive order to temporarily stop all evictions and keep utilities running, but unfortunately, that won't last for forever. We want to proactively anticipate the need that will arise once the order lifts. So please consider financial donations in an effort to offset those needs for solo parent families and families who are in danger of losing their jobs through the season. Those funds will be used for our South Point community, both in Leonardtown and Lesby, with extra funds also being designated to Hope of Southern Maryland as they give support to the greater community. If you're a member of our church family, if you're a solo parent, or you find yourself in need of food or care, please don't hesitate to reach out at southpointforyou.com. 
South Point Church, thanks for being a loving family of Christ followers who are ready to love our community. Let's do this.